Look at Mars. What's up, everybody? We're out here shooting Mars. I got 30 more seconds to go. I'm in the middle of doing an animation. So I'm taking an RGB sequence and then waiting five minutes and doing another RGB sequence. And that will give me a real smooth animation. So I'll take you through that process here in a second. So right now we're on the red channel. I got the ASI 290mm ZWO RGB filter wheel. Time to go. So I got my settings all dialed in. I got my cutout box. Do you see the histogram is up right around 70% for the red channel? You can see the wind kind of moving the box around. I don't really take too long to polar align. Uh, I get a rough polar alignment and then just do the solar system align. I found that even if I take my time, the planets being you know at 4,000 millimeters of focal length they'll still move so i just find it easier because i'm gonna sit here anyway because i don't have a automatic filter wheel i just find it faster to roughly polar align solar system align and then get to shoot so i'm doing two minute exposures per channel i got 25 seconds left on the red i'll swap to the green tweak the focus shoot and then do the same thing for the blue All right, red's done. Go to the green filter. Go to green on here. I'm, I'm looking at this dark, the bright limb over here. All right, focus is done. Got five seconds left on the green, then we'll go to blue. Blue, check our focus. So who wants to be in a YouTube video? So now the blue channel is almost done. So I'll set my alarm for five more minutes and then we'll start again with the red. Just like that. So you'll notice the imaging train on here looks ridiculously long, but everything has its purpose. First off, instead of having just the visual back, with the Barlow filter wheel and the camera put into it. I have a SCT Crayford focuser, which gives me the ability to use the stock focuser to get really coarse focus because on an SCT scope, the primary mirror moves back and forth in here. So there's a whole lot of travel. Jupiter has its storms and moons. You can get some surface detail on Saturn, but you have the real crisp Cassini division. And then on Mars, you actually get a whole lot of surface features, you know, because it's a really dynamic landscape. But if you're all focused just by a little bit, then it can really degrade your image. So by having the ability to find focus with the SCT, with the Crayford Focuser, I found that I get really sharper images. All right, so now we're done with the red channel. We're gonna go to the blue. So right here is the manual filter wheel. So we'll go down to the next click Right there, make our adjustments and I use the fine focuser. There we go. And then this is a dew strap that goes to my dew controller because I found my Jupiter and Saturn images. I was getting a false artifact on the outside of the planet, and the planets weren't, the details weren't sharp at all, and I couldn't figure out why. So I cleaned the corrector plate, cleaned all the optics everywhere. And it would still happen down here in south texas especially in the morning hours the humidity can get you know upwards of a hundred percent so by having all of this extra space in here i was getting dew 
in the imaging tray. But I have a dew strap up here at the front of the corrector to prevent that along with the dew shield. And then on my finder I also have another dew strap. And so I figured out that by putting another dew strap on the power mate that it would keep the dew off of the imaging train so that dew strap will warm up the barlow and the filter wheel so anyway so i have the crafer focuser and then underneath the dew strap is a two times power mate or a barlow lens but i use a power mate which just amplifies the image two times so it effectively doubles the focal length of the scope going from 2,000 millimeters at f10 to 4,000 millimeters at f20. We're about to change from the green to the blue. All right, go to the blue, do our focus. Hit play. The filter wheel is a five position filter wheel housing. Numbers one through three are RGB in that order. And number four, I have an IR filter, an IR pass filter by Astronomics that helps like when scene conditions aren't very good. The animations I did of Jupiter and Saturn because this is a mono camera and I don't have a lot of space. I'll do mono recordings in IR that bring out a whole lot more detail. And then in the fifth slot, I have a brand new U Venus filter that I haven't had a chance to use yet. The other good thing, so Venus will be up in the morning. I haven't had a chance to image it with a monochrome yet but you take the IR pass and assign it to the red channel. You take the UV filter and assign it to the blue channel and you make a synthetic green channel with a mixture of those two. And that's how you get those beautiful pictures of the cloud belts of Venus because otherwise you would just see a white blob. I hope y'all have a good night. I'll see y'all later.